I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to calculate inverse trigonometric functions value. Now we need to calculate cot inverse of 5. Now this could be approximately calculated using the calculator. We'll actually round the answer to two decimal places. Round to two decimal places. Now, as you know, the calculator has sine, cosine, and tan. They can be used to find or to calculate cot inverse of 5. Now, what do you think? Which function should be used to calculate this? Well, it's very important to understand what is, when is cot inverse defined? So, when we are talking about cot inverse of 5, we are looking into the domain that x should be between 0 and pi, right? That is the domain in which, I'm sorry, cot, cot inverse is defined. Now, this domain is same as, now, this domain is same as that of which function of cosine function do you see that cosine function domain is between 0 to pi so the domain for cot is exactly same rather subset of the cosine function domain and therefore we should use cos inverse to find this value right so therefore therefore we should use cos inverse of some value to get our answer. Now that is a very important thing to understand. Now how do we get the cos inverse equivalent value? That's the second question, right? So let's kind of sketch it and then we'll figure it out. So when I say cot, we need to find what cot inverse of 5 is equal to let us say let it be y in that case 5 is equals to cot y right so 5 is cot y now what is cotangent 5 cot basically means base over opposite side right so so base over opposite side we can have a triangle kind of like this is it okay so in this triangle what we are saying is that this side is 5 and this side is 1 and the angle is 5. Now in this particular triangle cot y is 5 right so cot 5 is base over a positive side. Well you can always find the hypotenuse uh, let me say this point is O this is P and this is Q then then OP will be equal to square root of 5 square plus 1 square which is square root of 26 correct so this is square root of 26 now since we know that we can actually uh, from here also find what cos y is right so we can write from here cos y is equal to adjacent side 5 over square root of 26 okay it is the same y you're getting my point it is the same y. So the idea is to calculate cot inverse of 5, we need to find what y is, right? We need to find what y is, this value, right? Rather this value, correct? So we can easily find it using cosine function. We can say what y is equals to cos inverse of 5 over square root of 26. Do you get an idea, right? So so it is the same y which we are looking into this, which is this y. Is it okay? So now we can use the calculator and find this answer. So that is the base. And I hope this point is very clear. So when you are calculating approximate value for cotangent, secant or other trigonometric functions, you have to first figure out the domains which match. Now for cotangent and for secant, 
cosine domain matches right so always use cosine for cotangent and secant right so okay so now we have come to this and realized how we can actually write this in terms of cosine and then use calculator to calculate so let's find the value so we are cos inverse of 5 divided by square root of 26 square root of 26 bracket close equal to the calculator should be in radians okay so we get the answer which is so we just calculated this value we say y is equals to 0 0.1973 okay now we need to approximate it to two decimal places right so that gives us 0 0.20 in this case is that okay so that is how you can find the answer so we can write cot inverse of 5 is equal to approximately 0 0.20 in two decimal places so i hope the steps are clear right so we'll take up another example where this value will be negative and see how it should be done i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best